Hello guys, welcome to Love is Vacation YouTube's channel. Now I wanna give you information about 5 Top Rated Hiking Trails in Vermont Number 5 Mount Olga Because the trail begins in Molly Stark State Park, which is located at one of the highest road access points in the southern Green Mountains, Mount Olga provides big views for a relatively short and moderate hike. The entire loop from the park to the summit and back is about 2 miles. You can begin by following the Stonewall Trail up and return by the Mount Olga Trail, or vice versa. The vertical rise is only about 520 feet, and the trails have much the same grade. Number 4 Spruce Peak The Appalachian Trail joins the Long Trail for about 100 miles through southern Vermont, and the section that climbs Spruce Peak, in the Green Mountain National Forest near Manchester, is a favorite day hike. From the Appalachian, Long Trail crossing on Route 1130 in Wind Hall, the trail heads south through the woods along a ridge, climbing and descending several times. It crosses an old forest road that was once the stagecoach turnpike between the towns of Manchester, Bonneville, and Peru. A short side trail to the right leads to the peak, with views of Mount Equinox and the Taconic Mountains. About a half mile south of that is Spruce Peak Shelter, a rustic log cabin used by through hikers. The round trip to the shelter is about 5 miles, with about 600 feet elevation change, an easy 3 hour hike. Number 3 Camel's Hump At just over 4,000 feet, Camel's Hump is Vermont's third highest peak, and several trails reach its bare, rocky summit. Two of the best begin from the Monroe area of Camel's Hump State Park, south of Route 2 in North Duxbury, which is west of Waterbury. You can either hike the Monroe Trail to the summit and back or you can make a somewhat longer loop route, following the long trail as it drops steeply south from the summit to an intersection at Wind Gap, and returning to the Monroe Trail by the Dean Trail. Whichever route you take, it's a demanding climb, often steep, but on well-maintained trails. Number 2 Mount Pisgah One of the most memorable views in Vermont is the reward for this moderately stiff climb with a vertical rise of about 1,500 feet. You can take either of two trails, one from the north end of Long Lake Willoughby, the other from the lake's southern end. Or if you don't mind walking almost three miles back along the road, you can make a seven-mile loop. The walk along Route 5A borders Lake Willoughby, and traffic is rarely heavy. Getting to the top of the cliffs is about the same from either direction, a mix of woodland and rocky trail, with some brook crossings on the north trail. Number 1 Mount Mansfield Vermont's highest mountain is also one of its most interesting and rewarding, not only for the sweeping views, but for the more than two miles of ridgetop hiking above treeline. This is one of only two places in Vermont where rare arctic alpine tundra exists. There is a much smaller area on Camel's Hump, but Mount Mansfield supports 200 acres of rare tundra plants. Because of its profile viewed from the east, locations along Mount Mansfield's long wriggle line are described as the Adam's apple, chin, the highest point at 4,393 feet, nose, and forehead. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.